Hey, folks, uh, this is uh, Inverses of Function. This is uh, Module 5.2, not Lesson 5.2, Module 5.2 and uh, Integrated Math 3. That should say Module, by the way. I'll switch it before we get started. So what are wh what's an inverse function and how do you know it's an inverse function? Okay, so here we go. So an inverse relation, you guys, just reverses the pairing of the ordered pairs. So here's an example. Uh, the mapping diagram uh, shows a function and its inverse, so complete the diagram for the inverse, okay? So an inverse relation just reverses the ordered pair. So this negative 4, negative 2 becomes negative 2, negative 4. This 0, negative 3 becomes negative 3, 0. We're just switching the ordered pairs, okay? So there's the inverse of that function right there, okay? So recall a relation um, uh, is a function if for each input it gives out only one output. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, what? Well, look, here's the input right here. It only goes to one output, okay? I can't have this like, say, the zero went to this number and this number. It would have two outputs. So if each input has one output, um, then it's called a function. And here the inverse is also a function because it, every input it had only came from one output right there. All right, so uh, the inverse function of f of x is written as, and this says f inverse, and it looks like a little negative 1 power, f to the negative 1 power, but it's not a negative 1 power. This says f inverse of x, but it looks like it's a little exponent right there. Okay, so the mapping diagram shows a function and it's inverse, okay? So complete the diagram. Now, this is still a function because every input only goes to one output. Every input goes to one output. This only goes to one, and this only goes to one. They go to the same one, but it doesn't go to the same uh, output. Okay, so let's do the inverse. Negative 4, negative 2 becomes negative 2, negative 4. This is going to become negative 3, 0. Okay, now 1 goes to 2, and so does 4. It also goes to 2. So this input, 2, will go uh, to 1 and 4 right there, okay? Now this uh, inverse is not a function right there because of this input gives us two different outputs. We can have the same input going to... I'm sorry, different inputs going to the same output. We just can't have the same output going to different... Uh, the same input going to different outputs. So the inverse is not a function because the input 2 gives two different outputs, that 1 and 4 right there, okay? So a function is 1 to 1 if no input is ever used more than once, okay? So a function is many to 1 if there are, um, uh, if there are two or more inputs that give the same output, okay? So this function was 1 to 1 because every input gave us one output. This function, it is a function, but this one is not 1 to 1. It is many to 1 because this uh, input and this input gives us this same one output, so it's many to one, okay? All right, so here's the graph of the function in section A, okay? So here's the ordered pairs that we had in section A of the inputs and outputs right there, okay? So um, uh, here's the graphs, negative 4, negative 2. Here's 0, negative 3. Here's um, uh, 1, 2, and so on. So the inverse functions are to reverse those, okay? So... So we're reversing these uh, ordered pairs right here, and so now we're going to graph those, okay? So when we graph those, they give us those points right there. And notice how this point and this point are a reflection of this line right here. This point and this point are a reflection. This point and this point, the had custodians coming in and cleaning, so you're going to hear some banging around in here. And these points are the reflection. So inverses are always reflected on this line y equals x, always, always. So the inverse graph is a reflection across the line y equals x, okay? And then to find the inverse of a function, what we do is we substitute in y for f of x, and then we solve for that x in there, and then we switch the x and y's, and then we replace the new y with the f inverse function, okay? So let's find the inverses of each function, okay? Here's the rules right here. So first we're going to substitute this in for y. So now it's y equals 3x plus 4, okay? All right, now we're going to go ahead and solve for this x, okay? So let's go ahead and do minus 4, minus 4, and then we're going to divide by 3. And there it is right there. So now we switch the x and the y. So this is going to become x, and this is going to become y right there, okay? And then we replace the new y with f of x, and there's our f inverse. There's our inverse right there. All right, let's try another one, okay? So here we're going to go ahead and 
substitute in y right here. So y equals this stuff right here, okay? And then now we're going to go ahead and get rid of that minus 2 and plus 2 to both sides, all right? Now there's a couple ways you can go from here, but what I'm going to do is I think it's easier just to do one step at a time. I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 5 right there, and that's going to get rid of this fraction right there, and then distribute the negative 5 through, and we get to that. Now we can divide both sides by 2, and there we go right there. Now, now um, it's cleaner if we pull the, if they're all negatives on top, then just pull the negative out and put it out in front, and it's going to change up to a positive and that to a positive right there. Okay, so now we let that be y, so uh, then we switch it. Okay, so this uh, x equals um, uh, 5y plus 2, and notice I floated that out. Now we, I'm right here, now we're going to switch the x's and the y's, so this becomes x, and then this becomes y. That's what this says right here. And then our final thing is we're going to switch it for the f inverse graph right there. And there it is right there. Okay. All right. If you are in my class, I'm going to assign you that homework. And then on numbers 9 and 10, you guys, it says verify that they are inverses. We're going to wait till the next lesson to do that. All right, you guys, take care.